In order to get started to set a zero value and a span value or maximum value, make sure your air is on. Make sure you're not on e-stop. Turn on the E5AK control panel. I've already wired. Now, in order to start filling up the container of liquid to set a zero value, say the zero value is four inches. What you want to do is go into manual mode. To go into manual mode, hit the AM auto manual, push button, hold it. Now we're in manual mode. It says 100% here. That 100% means that the valve should be fully open. So if you look at the valve, that's fully open. Fully open is 15 PSI. That's 15 PSI. There's no liquid coming in because the pump is off. So if we turn on the pump, the water starts coming in. And what we want to do is set the min value or the zero value to five inches. So right now the drain is completely open. What we want to do is stabilize at five inches with the valve at approximately 50%. Now from station to station, the pump itself or the pumps themselves have different speeds. Okay, so you have to adapt to your station. So right now we're at five, or close to five inches of liquid, but it's rising. So what we wanna do is find our so-called magic number. We wanna make sure we have mass balance between inflow and outflow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower or close our valve, a pneumatic valve. Usually the best to start at around 40% open. So the longer you keep your finger on this, the quicker it goes up or down. So I'm going to just put this to 40. You'll see the valve is going to kick in after two seconds. That's open about 40-50%. Now I've overshot five inches, but that's fine. It's still going up. That means with my pneumatic valve open 50%, and my drain valve open 50%, it's still rising. So my magic number here is a little too high still. So I'm gonna lower it. See the 30. So you heard the valve there readjust, it's open about 30%. The liquid is fairly stable. It's going down a little bit, very slowly. As you can tell up here, your PV. So it's dropping, and that 70% is 70% fill of what the old zero and span numbers are. So 30% seems like it's a, a pretty good number for this station here. One thing I wanna tell you is the more liquid you have, the more pressure you have, and the easier that, it's, that the liquid uh, flows through the drain. So your magic number at the top maybe higher than your magic number at the bottom for your pneumatic valve. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave that valve at about 50%. I'm gonna leave this magic number at 30. I'm just gonna turn off the pump. It's a bit of a, a shortcut, All right? So if I turn off the pump, the pump is no longer pumping even though my valve is open. I wanna get this to as close as possible uh, or as close as possible to five inches. I'll turn this back on when it hits, hits close to five or maybe five and a quarter. So we're almost there. So I just turned it back on. We'll see how stable it is and we'll see if it's going up or down. Right now it seems fairly stable. It's going up maybe, maybe really slowly. So this lower the magic number a little bit. Okay, so this is where it starts getting a little bit finicky. My final, final adjustments are gonna be with the valve, or the drain valve itself. It's still going down a little. So now I'm just gonna close this valve a little bit. I wanna keep it as close as possible to 50%, but I'm gonna play with it in order to stabilize so I'm going to close it a bit more so it rises above 5 
And now I'm going to slowly open that drain valve to stabilize. I'm going to turn off the pump. All right, so now when you get it to where you want, what you want to hit is the Z or zero value. Once you hit the zero value, you see the PV going down to zero. It means that right now it's at the minimum value. What you have to do to set it to the maximum value is get it to what you want the maximum to be using the same system I just explained. And then you hit the S button or the span right here. The best way to do that is to close the valve so there's no water leaking through. Increase your set point in manual mode to 100%. There's about a one second to two second lag. So you see the valve open 100% now and the liquid's rising pretty quick. In the background you hear the air compressor because it is a pneumatic valve. So let's say we want the max to be 20 inches. Once you start getting close to 20 inches, what I suggest you do is you start lowering this. And this value here is not going to kick in unless you leave it or leave the push button or let the push button go for more than about a second. So I'm going to go back to the magic number, which is about 30. Now, it overshot, but that's fine. It's not an issue. My valve here is still completely closed. So I want to set this to 50% again, approximately 45 degree angle. So my level is dropping. I'm going to increase my magic number. Like I said, the magic number at the top is not the same as the magic number at the bottom. So 36, we'll see what happens. It's going up a little. I'm going to lower to about 34, 33. It's all trial and error. going down one of the minor adjustment with the controller and then I'm going to use the valve if I need to so it's still going up a little bit so since it's going up I'm going to open up this valve a bit more and as I open and close that valve what I want to do is make sure I stabilize here once it's fairly stable I'm going to turn off the pump and drop it down to what I want my max to be, in this example, 20 degrees. So that's pretty darn close to being stable at 20 degrees. It's still going up a little bit, so I'll just adjust my valve. As I adjust my valve, I keep my eye on the level. And as it goes down, I slowly close the valve. Minor tweaking, minor movement. So that's fairly stable at 20. Now I press the span, press, hold, let go. And now you see that that shows it at 100%. So now you have your min at five, your max at 20. So if you enter a 50%, it'll go to 50% of that span. So let's have a look. Not to 50% in auto mode. So it's dropping because my set point is 50, but what I want, what I have right now, it was 100. So it's going to go all the way back to 50. So if you can see here with the bar, the output is 4 milliamps, which is 3 PSI, which means the valve is closed. It will slowly start reopening as it gets closer to my set point because it doesn't want to undershoot. There you go. So it's getting to my 50%. So the valve opened up a little bit, letting liquid through so it didn't undershoot. And so it's gone down slowly and eventually it'll hit 50. A little bit below, a little bit above, but it'll hover around 50. That's my 50%.